Hi friends. Now today I'm going to talk about an interesting topic here, and I want to ask you a question to begin with my talk today. The question that I want to ask you is that can you tell me what is the common thing that you have with all high achievers in the world? What is the common thing between you and maybe Steve Jobs, maybe Elon Musk, maybe the topper in the same exam, maybe the topper in the IIT J? What is the common thing that you have with all of them? Can you tell me? What do you think? So I'm going to tell you the common thing that you have with all the high achievers is that everybody has 24 hours in a day. Understand my point? So again, I want to emphasize here: Mother Teresa was not born with more than 24 hours a day. You know, high achievers have they don't have 30 hours, 36 hours. Everybody has 24 hours in a day. So what determines where people reach in life? What determines that who is going to become a high achiever in life is is how you use your 24 hours is the key thing. You show me your schedule. You show me what you do in one day. I will tell you where you reach after 10 years. You understand my point? So what I'm wanting you to know today is that most people they want to become successful. I want to again share with you: most people they want to become successful, but they don't do enough about it. The message that I want you to have is: what is it that you think that you all, you know, most of the students and youngsters, what do you want to do most of the time? Most of the time, we are sucked into a believing that we have to talk about others. You will see half of the your day you actually spend talking about others that what photograph she has put on her Facebook, what is he doing today, and you spend a lot of time seeking self pity if you do don't do well in one exam, if you don't do well in one venture. We talk to a lot of people to seek self pity, and we actually are looking at people to say sugar coated words to us, and we spend a lot of time listening to them. Now, if you look back, and if you I I'll give you exercise today. My exercise for the day is. Take a piece of paper and a pen, and write down what do you usually do in one twenty-four hours. Okay, how much of the time is spent in doing things that you really love? How much of the time is spent in productive work? How much of the time is spent in family time? And how much of the time is actually spent in entropy or randomness? And that randomness would include, you know, gossiping about others, seeking, you know, sugar-coated words, talking on phone, scrolling TV channels, and looking at channels that you actually don't want to see, looking at WhatsApp, looking at jokes that other people have forwarded to you that you actually don't want to read. They don't make you laugh, but they take your time away. So if you kind of look at them, and you will be surprised to look at the amount of time that you actually waste in a day. Do you realize this? And what I have seen is. All high achievers, they cut down on such random activities. They never cut down on family time. They do not cut down on things that they love. You have to understand this. I've seen all high achievers. It's not like that. They stop painting. They stop singing. And if they enjoy music, they don't stop listening to music. But they cut down on that WhatsApp joke that you're reading right now. So my message to you is: everybody has 24 hours in a day, and where you reach in life is actually dependent on. How you use that 24 hours, and I want you to tell you. I want to tell you today. There are two kind of people that you have in life. Two kind of people that you have in life. One who are always telling you that you are not going to succeed. There are a set of people who are telling you that you are not going to succeed in life. You have to prove them wrong. And but do not forget the more important. There is a set of people, your parents, family, close friends. Who actually want you to succeed by utilizing this 24 hours properly? You have to prove them right. That is my message for the day. Do write back to me in comment section if you enjoy this. This is me signing off.